NASA's Hubble Space Telescope is well known for capturing mystical images of galaxies and space, and it has done so once more. The Hubble Space Telescope has caught a breathtaking giant elliptical galaxy which is 2.5 times bigger than our own Milky Way galaxy and is located approximately 100 million light years from Earth. So, let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about Hubble Space Telescope peering through the giant elliptical galaxy's layers. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Almost three decades ago, one of the most famous and awe-inspiring pieces of technology, the Hubble Space Telescope, was launched. Hitching a ride with the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990, Hubble was placed in low Earth orbit where it has been continuously observing the night sky ever since. Since then, observations have been carried out across all wavelengths of light, from ultraviolet to infrared, which have given astronomers an unprecedented window on the universe. So, what have they learned from its breathtaking pictures? In 1609, visionary Italian scientist Galileo Galilei turned the newly invented optical device of its day the telescope to view the heavens. His observations conclusively showed that there were celestial bodies that did not revolve around the Earth, launching a revolution that forever changed our view of an Earth-centered universe. Almost four centuries later, the launch of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990 started another revolution in astronomy. Developed as a partnership between the United States Space Program and the European Space Agency, Hubble orbits 340 miles above Earth's surface. Its gaze outward lies beyond the distorting effects of the atmosphere, which blurs starlight and blocks some important wavelengths of light from reaching the ground. This vantage point allows Hubble to observe astronomical objects and phenomena more consistently with better detail than generally attainable from ground-based observatories. The telescope's sensitive cameras and spectrographs can view objects as nearby and small as colliding asteroids to distant star-forming galaxies that date back to when the universe was only 3% of its current age. In fact, Hubble observations have played a key role in discovering and characterizing the mysterious dark energy that now appears to permeate space. Results like these have changed our fundamental understanding of the cosmos. In addition, Hubble's elevated perspective and advanced optics allow it to peer farther away than ground-based optics are able to see. So, while other much larger current and planned ground-based telescopes are pushing the frontiers of astronomy even deeper, the space telescope's perch above the atmosphere still gives it an unparalleled advantage. And while Hubble shares credit with ground-based observatories for some of its major achievements, it is, and remains, at the forefront of modern astronomy a quarter of a century after launch. Mario Livio, an astrophysicist who works with Reese at the Space Telescope Science Institute on the campus of John Hopkins University in Baltimore, said, there is essentially no area of astronomy and astrophysics where Hubble didn't contribute something quite significant. Because light takes time to travel long distances, Hubble functions like a time machine. The light it views from remote objects reveals how those objects appeared when the light left them, not how they appear today. For example, when we look at the Andromeda Galaxy, which lies about 2.5 million light years from Earth, we see it as it was 2.5 million years ago. And with Hubble, distant objects are revealed that otherwise can't be seen at all. Most recently, another amazing image of the distant galaxy was captured by the Hubble telescope. And this new image captures the central region of the gigantic elliptical galaxy NGC 474, located some 100 million light years from Earth. NGC 474 spans about 250,000 light years across. That's 2.5 times larger than our own Milky Way galaxy. Along with its enormous size, NGC 474 has a series of complex layered shells that surrounds its spherical shaped core. 
The cause of these shells is unknown, but astronomers theorize that they may be the after-effects of the giant galaxy absorbing one or more smaller galaxies. In the same way a pebble creates ripples on a pond, when dropped into the water, the absorbed galaxy creates waves that form the shells. The image was creating using data from Hubble's advanced camera for surveys. Additional gap-filling data was provided by Hubble's Wide Field and Planetary Camera 2 and Wide Field Camera 3. The color blue represents visible blue light, while the color orange represents near-infrared light. Roughly 10% of elliptical galaxies have shell frameworks, NASA explained. But unlike the large percentage of elliptical galaxies which are connected with galaxy clusters, hard-shell ellipticals commonly lie in fairly empty space. This picture of the galaxy was created using Hubble's advanced camera for survey data. NASA stated that supplemental gap-filling data from Hubble's Wide Field and Planetary Camera 2 and Wide Field Camera 3 was used to form the perfect output of this gigantic cosmos. The image of galaxy NGC 474 shows a beautiful, complex series patterned shells that surround its spherical-shaped core. Astronauts are perplexed by these beautiful shells. Some astronomers believe these shells may be process of absorption of one or more tiny galaxies into this giant galaxy. In addition, elliptical galaxies are smooth and featureless, containing hundreds of millions to trillions of stars. They range from nearly spherical to very elongated shapes. Their overall yellowish color comes from the aging stars. Because ellipticals do not contain much cool gas, they no longer make new stars. In this Hubble image, NGC 1132 is seen among a number of smaller dwarf galaxies of similar color. In the background, there is a stunning tapestry of numerous galaxies that are much larger but much farther away. Therefore, NGC 474 looks a lot like what astronomers think the Milky Way and Andromeda will resemble after their merger. They won't be two beautiful spirals anymore. Instead, their gravitational interaction will produce an almost featureless elliptical galaxy. But how will it happen? As the two galaxies approach each other, the strong gravity of each one will distort their shapes. Giant streamers of gas and dust will get pulled out of each galaxy. There might even be central shells of material, just like in NGC 474. In addition to all that activity, there's one other hallmark of a merger, starburst knots. They are sites of star formations that occur in the wake of a merger. The activity pushes clouds of gas and dust together, eventually creating scads of hot young stars. That'll happen as long as there's enough material available to the star birth nurseries. Eventually, the burst of star birth will slow down and stop. The resulting new galaxy will assume a fairly boring-looking elliptical shape. That, in a nutshell, is what happened to NGC 474. And it's the fate of Milkdromeda, a probably featureless elliptical that once was two beautiful spiral galaxies. So, in the case of NGC 474, astronomers have a few theories about why it has these odd shells. One idea is that it interacted with another galaxy billions of years ago. That created the shells in a process similar to throwing a rock into a pond and watching as the ripples move away from it. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.